So this is what I created today. It wasn't like a planned video. It was just something that I had at the top of my mind that I wanted to create for you guys. I created this nice, vampy, not punch in the face kind of makeup look. We'll get this video started right now. My foundation is already done. I got foundation lips right now. So if you're wondering what foundation I'm using, I actually use the Urban Decay All and Nighter to the Urban Decay Weightless Skin because both are not my shades. So I make when I mix both of them up together. Plus this is finishing. Um, it matches my shades. Okay, moving on. So I have not done my concealer, so I'll be going in with the Kat Von D Lock It Concealer. So I'm just gonna apply a very small amount around my eye area. I'm not gonna drag it across my eyes. Um, you will know when I'm actually trying to blend it out. You will know how much this concealer actually takes to actually blend out your under eye you don't need a lot guys then I'll set my face with the beauty bakery flower powder setting powder and it's in the shade yellow okay so today's eye look is going to be on a very dark a vampy look I've always wanted to do like a black halo smoky eye so today that is what we're going to do and we're gonna make it beautiful guys okay so for this look I'll be going in with my Morphe 35 F palette so picking up this very light peachy shade right here I'm just gonna go up uh, and build the shade as it goes along very light orange brown maybe a very very light tinge because that is what I want I want to actually gradually build out the shadows I don't want to go straight with the black in and then I mess my eye look up and then I'll be going in to pick up this brown right here which is just a darker version of this this palette do not have like a very matte dark purple okay so I'll be going in with this purple shade which this is from Sephora and this is called after work drink it's just a purple matte shade because I didn't want to pick up the shimmer shade because it will mess up the look just blend it at the crease area guys don't go up too high it will start to darken up already bit by bit build it up as you go along okay using the same brush that we use for the purple you don't have to change your brush just take a little bit of black guys a little bit and we are just going to drag all over the lid and bring it to the inner corner we're going to take a little bit more purple we are going to blend out the edges we don't want the black to be overpowering the purple then it will look really sloppy and then we're going to take a clean brush and we're just going to blend out the edges this part you don't need to be precise just blend out the edges guys Actually, to be very honest with you guys, I'm actually bringing it. I did not plan for this video, but I've always wanted to do like a very dark, a vampy look. A medium to dark skin tone, it can be very scary for it to go overboard real quickly. For lotion lash line, I'm going to just pick up a little bit of black first. And then we are going to take the same purple. Take a clean brush and blend out as much as you can underneath your eyes. For the last step of this look would be any metallic foil shade that you have which is almost like to the pearly champagne side. So I have the one from Colourpop and this is Wiz. It's their super shock cheek. So it's actually a highlighter. I'm just gonna apply that on top of my lid. Just gonna take the same pencil brush I used to smoke my lower lash line and just blend out the, the cream highlighter. I don't know how sometimes people can actually use like 10-15 brushes on one eye look. For lower lash line, I'll be going in with the 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil. This is like my favourite purple eye liner. Which is, we gotta highlight the brow bone and the inner corner of your eyes, of course. So for the brow bone highlight, I'll be going in with this white one at the corner. For the inner corner, I'm using this small, cutest Morphe brush Okay, so I'm gonna go in and put on my lashes. So for lashes, I'll be going in with the Natasha Denona lashes And this is in the shade Sophia. Okay, so the lashes is on So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna do a very thin line just to match up with the lashes because so it doesn't look fake even though it's fake Pretty much. So for contouring, I'm going to go in with today with the Anastasia Beverly Heat Contour Kit. Of course, I'm going to pick up this shade right here which is called Earth. It's the perfect shade for me. The one is not too dark. So I'm just going to contour my cheekbones. And today, we are going to snatch it up. So we can contour it as sloppy as we want. First, just... Okay, maybe not this brush. This brush sucks. Okay, this works. Morphe 460 and please always it has to be similar one cannot be up and one cannot be down your face will look real funny and it has ever happened to me once before I felt so awkward it's like one cheekbone was smaller and the other one was like so because of the illusion that it gives you so for blush we'll be going in with the Urban Decay Afterglow 8 hour powder blush in the shade Bittersweet 
powder brush. Okay, so moving on to highlight, we're going back to my all-time favorite highlighter, which is the Too Faced Prismatic Highlighter in the shade U. Light up my life. You guys always light up my life when I do videos for you guys. And since we got a different color brow bone highlight going up there, we don't want to bring it up. We just bring it right across the cheekbone just like that. Okay, so for lips, you can go for something like really dark, really vampy, or you can go something for um, really neutral. I'm going to give you guys actually two, two choices. Um, you can wear whatever shade you feel comfortable to wear with. Tatis Lip Paint in the shade, what shade is this? TBT. I like small things actually. Small in size when it comes to makeup. Or, yeah, or anything that I really am passionate about, I just can't help myself just get it, guys. Like, And then the second one will be something like real dark, real dramatic. So this is the Kat Von D in the shade Damned. I found that that was too dark, guys. So yeah, I love you guys so much and definitely I would love to see you come back and see me on my next video. So subscribe to my channel, like this video and also comment down below and let me know what you guys think of this video as well. And don't forget to click the notification button, the bell button right beside the subscribe. Yeah, I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Thanks for watching the video. To watch the next one, click right here. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button right here.